and it's time to do some entertainment and we are all aware that we're in a political year and a lot of musicians have been mounting political stages to campaign for politicians. Well, in an interaction we had with Adam this afternoon, we asked him if he is also going to throw his weight up behind any political party and guess what he said. Just take a listen to it. You believe in somebody's ideologies is something that will impact the country. I think that we should get to the level where people should be able to come out and talk about it. Uh, the masses' understanding of that is very, very difficult and very, very uh, mundane. And so people are a little skeptical as to, to show where they stand. I also think that as an artist in your very prime stage of your career, you should strike a fair balance. Uh, it's decent for you to go on a party platform and go and perform uh, because that is what you do as an artist and it's a business. Uh, but if you have to come out and endorse them, uh, it should be more about you believing in them and not about the money. You can be paid to do a song, that is fine. But if you believe in their ideologies, then you should actually speak to the cause and not be paid to do it. It should rather be you believing in their manifesto, you believing in their development plans. Because we as young people, I don't think we want the country to move in a direction because we think that that is the direction because we've been paid to think that way. It should rather be you really, really believe in it. And I think we should also get to the level where everybody should be free to show their, their side and still be respected equally and still be made to have a peace of mind so that you don't have messages flying into your inbox, you are, you are a stomach musician and blah, 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 and all that sort of thing. So it should be ideology over money and also please stop castigating entertainers who are throwing their support behind political parties. Well, for some time now, gospel artists have been under a lot of backlashes. We can make mention of Gifty, Gifty Ozo who went to wear a certain thing and people were talking about her. SP Kofi Sapon who performed Suzuka from Kofi Kanata and people were talking about him. So we wanted to find out from Nasi, who is also a gospel artist, part of No Tribe, but is bringing out a solo album. What he makes of people castigating and backlashing, or, I mean, gospel artists. This is what he said. Being a gospel singer, it doesn't mean you're an angel, that you don't fault at all, you don't make any mistakes. We do make mistakes, we do cause a lot of problems and we behave like every human being behave. So people shouldn't see us as these people, they don't do the things that we do. We do the same thing, you know, <laughs> everything. <laughs> I think you need to get stuck here because we're bringing you updates on Abraham Mata's deal with the Toms, the 10,000 pairs of shoes. They are in Ghana and in a subsequent bulletin, I'm talking about LTE, Let's Talk Entertainment, and the entertainment news on Prime will be bringing you updates on that. The name is Ibrahim Ben Bako. Keep enjoying this channel.